Pastor says something. The house of empowerment. Amen. And we are here to be empowered. Spiritually, physically, emotionally. Mm -hmm. You will never live the same. Today I have a powerful message for you. And my message is, your network is your network, not your hard work. It's good to work hard, but if you don't have the right network, you're going nowhere. Who do you contact when you need A? Who do you contact when you need B? Who do you contact when you need C? Your network is your professional connections. And your network is the value placed on your network. What value do you have on your network? When you look through your phone contact, what value do you place on it? What are the value on your contact list? That is what we're going to talk about. The value on your contact list is what will take you to the next level of your life. It is not your hard work. It's good to work hard, but you're going nowhere without a powerful network. Because it's the network that takes you the next step. Before it was measured, your network was measured in the value of the assets that you have. But today, it is also measured in the social capital of what you have. That will bring you the productivity that you need. The new way to network and build your true network is to follow your passion, your giftings and your talent. You see, before they were saying, whom you know. Now, you know me. But you know the next person and to attract the people that really connect to your dreams and passion in life, it is what you are doing that will connect those people to you. So you connect valuable people in your life who really likes what you are doing, they are passionate about what you are doing, if you have a dream and aspiration in life. So if you are a good singer, people who love your song, people who are good singers will connect to you. But if you don't have one, nobody connects. So what are your dreams and your aspirations in life? You need to find out one today. Your passion attracts the powerful network you need to create your network of contacts. It's not all about who you know, but it's about the valuable contact list your passion connects you to. Your network opens door, not your hard work. You know, um, Joseph, can you put it up there? You know, when sometimes I show you certain things about my life because my life is the best example that I can give. I can't give you any other example. When you, you, I look back a year or two ago, my contact list were people who loved football. My contact list were social capital, that like people for social things talk just unnecessary about things. But I can tell you, I just developed my website about two days ago, and um, I just developed my website about uh, two weeks ago, and I looked at the testimonial of people that I have come into contact with, and the kind of things they've said about me. And I look back and I say, so this is the network that I am developing. I have a friend who came to our work, who wanted to start a business, and he was talking about, go to the testimonials, and he was talking about, um, he wanted to know how to go about importing things from China. I just called one of my contact list who imports things from Malaysia. And within five minutes, the guy got all that he wants in five minutes. That is social capital falling place on your contact list. Who do you call if you want to start a business? Who do you call? I, I remember one guy called me, he said he needed prayer. I called Pastor, Pastor did not pick his phone, I called Pastor Patrick. Pastor Patrick picked his phone, he prayed with him. This is contact list. What value do you have? Some of us, our contact list is about people we gossip with. Some of us, our contact list is for people that always bring us down. Some of us, our contact list are people that always tell us that it is not possible. 
For today, I want you to lift your head above and start connecting to people that will bring the difference, that will take you to the next level of your life. I've met so many people. And within this church, I'm connecting big time behind the scenes. I have things I'm doing with Pastor Richard. I have things I'm doing with other people. Connecting. Last week, I was in a Gabby's house. We were there for about four hours. We weren't there talking. We were connecting on issues. What value with people are you connecting with? Let me tell you, you can work out. You see, some people are in certain levels of their life, not because of their hard work, but because they network very well. You and I, we are in jobs. Some people don't deserve some positions, but they are there because they network very well. You need to network. I'm not saying don't work hard. Work hard and network as well. And for those of us who are going back to school, your friends that you choose is the starting point of your network. You choose bad friends, you go with bad friends. You go with bad network. Sometimes it will reach a stage for you to disconnect yourself and start to move with with vulnerable network before you realize it's too late. And let's see, these are some of the networks. And people, all these people now have connected so much to them that they are whatever I need, if it's within their domain, they are there to hold. Let me just sum up today. How do you build a powerful network? Connect to people that share the same passion as you. That is number one. Number two, always be the person to take the initiative to connect. Because normally people will not just come to you and connect with you. So if you feel you want to connect with Pastor Reverend Ebuse, you take the initiative. You take the first step. Tell me, follow it up with a call and always stay in touch from time to time. Once a while, just send a WhatsApp. Technology. Once a while, just follow up with a call. You try to maintain your contact list. Fourth, be the first to give a helping hand when the need arises for you to help your valuable contact list. Always take the first step. You see, when you give the helping hand first, when you need something, you have already captured them. And giving the helping hand sometimes is not about any big deal. It's about doing the simple things of life. That, hey, can you go and pick my child for me? If you are free, you do it. Then you develop your contact list. You see, I have this motivational quote for you, and this is for me. Use your giftings and talents to connect to your valuable network. Remember, your network is your network, not your hard work. Let me tell you, start connecting to valuable people, and I can tell you, they will take you to places, not your hard work. Thank you very much.